Next we will discuss how the FMC helps the flight crew schedule, monitor, and change the airplane's vertical performance with vertical navigation or VNAV. The FMC schedules a vertical climb path for the flight from the origin airport to cruise altitude. The path is calculated for the gross weight, selected thrust, forecast winds and temperature, waypoint altitude or airspeed constraints, airspeed restriction altitude, the selected climb mode, and the cruise altitude. During cruise, the FMC schedules an economical speed, and step climbs. The FMC also schedules a vertical descent profile calculated for idle engine thrust, estimated winds and temperatures, and deceleration at the speed restriction altitude. The FMC changes the descent profile for altitude or airspeed constraints and the approach. The FMC has three VNAV related pages, the climb page, the cruise page, and the descent page. Let's look at the climb page. You use the climb page to monitor and change the climb profile. The title of the climb page shows the active climb mode. In Econ Climb, the FMC supplies the most economical climb profile calculated from the cost index. Push the line select key adjacent to max rate and execute the modification. Max rate climb gives the least time to climb to altitude. Push the line select key adjacent to max angle and execute the modification. Max angle climb gives least horizontal distance to climb to altitude. Change to econ climb. If there is a waypoint with an altitude constraint, the FMC shows it here. The constraint data comes from the legs page. You can delete the constraint on the climb page or the legs page. Use the climb page to delete the constraint. Execute the When you delete the altitude constraint, the legs page also shows the deletion. If you put a constraint on the legs page, the climb page also shows the new constraint. Use the legs page to put in a constraint of 15,000 or above at Orton.
execute the modification. The FMC shows the time that you will cross the constraint waypoint and the distance to the constraint waypoint. The scratch pad message Unable Next Altitude shows if you will be below the constraint altitude at the waypoint. The climb page shows how low you will be. Clear the scratch pad message. The FMC shows the target airspeed and Mach for the climb and the speed restriction if there is one. The FMC calculates and shows the target airspeed and Mach number for the related climb mode. The speed restriction can be a waypoint related constraint or a value from the airport database for the origin airport. If a restriction is not available, the FMC uses 250 knots below 10,000 feet as a default. The FMC highlights the active airspeed. In this example, you are below the speed restriction altitude of 10,000 feet. The active airspeed is 250 knots. Put in a new airspeed restriction of 240 knots below 15,000 feet. Execute the modification. Delete the speed restriction. Execute the modification. When there is no airspeed restriction, the active airspeed is the target airspeed related to the active climb mode. If you put in a different airspeed, then the FMC uses the new airspeed value for the climb. Put in a target climb speed of 260 knots. Execute the modification. When you put in a climb target speed, the title of the climb page changes to show the new speed. The airplane climbs at 260 knots. You can also change the cruise altitude on the climb page. Put in a new cruise altitude, flight level 350. Execute the modification. The FMC shows the new cruise altitude on all pages that show cruise altitude. You receive this clearance. Modify the climb page. The FMC commands a 260 knot speed restriction until 15,000 feet and continues the climb to flight level 350. Put in the new altitude constraint. Use the legs page to put in the altitude constraint. You cannot cross Orton at or above 10,000 feet at this rate of climb. Change to max angle climb rate. You have made the altitude constraint. Resume normal climb.